Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of uh, One Piece Super Grand Battle X. I know I should probably be recording other things right now like Pirate Warriors 2 or even Blade Battlers 2, but honestly I feel like recording this game more. Uh, so yeah, let's just get this started. In the last episode we had finished the Dress Rosa world, and now we're going to be starting the world that I finished the most times out of the worlds in this game, the Marine Ford world. So, yeah, this is probably my favorite world in this game, but it's sort of hard to judge. So we have Whitebeard, Ace, because Ace is sort of, uh, um, in line for being executed. So... Um, we have all these characters on the map here. Uh, Shiki, I think his name is, uh, d disregard him for now. Um, Akainu, uh, we will definitely end up fighting eventually. Tashigi, disregard her as well. Ace, uh, will be involved later. Bucky is actually the character we're gonna be going for first. Whitebeard is like, another character that, uh, will be involved in some way, shape, or form. Along with Jinbei and Ivan Cobb as much as I would really like to get him. I have tried so many times It's just impossible to catch up to him at this point. Oh And I should probably change up my team uh, You know, I'm actually gonna allow Marco to stay in because I Do need him for this world for certain fights that you don't have to win, but I'd like to win Actually, no, with nobles. I don't want this exact same setup, but I will stick with Sabo. Or no, never mind. I'm not going to do that. Yeah, I'll stick with Sabo. Sorry if some of the inputs are a little weird right now. I got a new controller today. I traded my Xbox new controller with a friend of mine to get an Xbox One controller. And since it's wireless, uh... Sometimes the controller is, will be a little unresponsive, but usually for the most part it's fine. Uh, let's go Zoro, Usopp, Sanji, Chopper, and Robin. So for my second character I will go with someone new, or kind of new, or no, do I want to go with Caesar? We'll, do, we'll go Caesar new. Uh, But Bartolomeo is my support because I like using Bartolomeo to an extent. Frankie. And the Mary. The going Mary. Ah! So yeah, let's get this thing started. Very cool. Ah, uh, is this a standard? Yeah, this is standard KO. I tried playing last night on my DS, or my 3DS, I should say. I tried playing One Piece Gigant Battle 2, because I have a ROM of that game. And I actually, no, that game I own physically. Uh, and I just couldn't get into it the same way I could. Oh, god damn it. Okay, my controller was not responding for a second. It's gonna be very frustrating at some points. All right, Zoro's dead. Now just to now to get rid of you, and we get this little send-off message here. Also, I found out the Kizuru fight. You are supposed to win that. I thought that was an optional fight, but you are supposed to win that. So I I really wasn't that impressive that I won there. Uh, thanks for the 270 belly. 
No one leveled up, except for some cards. If we got another card that might be used eventually, but at the same time, I really don't know. Hello, Shiki. Yeah, Shiki retreated, which is why it said don't pay attention to him. Tashiki's gonna retreat soon as well. Not quite yet, though. That's the only time Jinbei's gonna move it. Unless you take a certain route. Yeah, Ivankov's... He moves every time. He never stops. Until, of course, he decides to retreat. So, you do actually, uh, right, right around here, you want to get the chest because, um, when you fight Buggy, if you get this chest, he'll join you, but if you don't get this chest, you'll still unlock him as a character for winning the fight, but he won't actually, like, join you for this map. So, I do want to get him. I've never actually had him join me. But yeah, you. J and of course, Bart Bartol Nair is obsessing over there being a straw hat. I forget. Okay, no, I don't have to get to a certain amount. This is just sort of go to the end. Alright, uh. Let's actually use this. Now let's do this. Kizaru's fairly OP in this game as well. All the admirals are, except for maybe Kuzan. Kuzan's still good, but he's not. Or he's not really an admiral anymore because in this game, it. Because in the time skip, he leaves the Marines, but whatever. Both, both Kizaru and Akainu are really good. I'm pretty sure Fuji Tor is really good too. Although I kind of forget. There we go. Thank you for that. Now let's bring Sun Sun Goku in. Alright, there we go. Uh, yeah, so that's the end of that fight. And hey, uh, he's to be leveled up. Uh, okay, so we can continue on now that we got that. And we can open the chest. As you can see, Luffy's just kind of in confusion because you don't actually get an item from that. But rather, I th I guess just something to give to Buggy. Ace doesn't move. That Buggy is moving there, but that's the, that's the last time he moves. I'm pretty sure we might have gotten a key to open that chest. That's my guess on that one.
But after you get buggy, you want to kind of back out. Uh, because then you will not be able to get Jimbei. Which will ultimately lead you into probably not being able to get Whitebeard either. Should also probably make note that the Whitebeard fight in this game. It's pretty, pretty freaking hard. Which is why I'm using Marco here so I can get him to level 5 and then have a prayer at winning that fight. What are the conditions of this? Because is this fight different? I can't remember if it is or not. Yeah, so they get to- Okay, I remember this fight. They keep get to keep respawning, but you, you the player, actually, um... You have to keep fighting for some, for some- You only have one life for some dumb reason. There we go, we got one KO. Alright, I could really use an item now. Because I'm about to die. Oh, I can use his desperation attack. Let's go. I don't actually think I've ever really used Marco's desperation attack. There we go. Yeah, this fight's rather tough, so I don't want to... I don't want to risk dying here. I could really use a healing item right now. There we go. Oh no. Ah, oh, my controller's being unresponsive. Damn it. Gotta get away. Alright, now it's time to play a game of dodge for the rest of this match because I'm gonna die. Unless I can get a healing item. Damn it. Alright. I might just want to take the other out up there, because that's a really hard fight to win, at least to me. Oh my god. Why is this controller being very unresponsive today? Hopefully it gets better, but if not, I might have to take back the trade. I already told my friend, that being Max Tendo, whose channel I've linked in the friend section. Which I, I really need to update that. Uh, for the channel... He's one of the future channels, but yeah, I did the trade with him, and I, I made an agreement with him that within a week, if I wasn't satisfied with the controller, I would take it back. <laughs> so, yeah, we're just gonna do this KO thing. Even if it's more fighting. Fighting that makes sense, right? There we go. 
Man, I love using Marco in this game so much, but I think we'll switch to Kizaru. You actually have to do quite a bit of grinding if you want to get every character's desperation attack. But you don't have to do that for Sava or Marco, because their desperation attacks are unlocked in the beginning. See is this? There we go. Alright, and I think I'm at a pretty steady point in terms of points. In terms of points, so I think I'm I'm just gonna kinda play dodge. Bring this guy out to play. Oh, damn it, damn it. Cho I know who's in last place now. <laughs> Chopper. Alright, and that's game. Got a bag of something. <laughs> and you're warning me about something? Now, I could be wrong, but Buggy might actually move down here if you, um, after this fight, and then we can just fight Buggy there, but we might have to do two more fights. And now, this is the first fight on the Marine Ford stage. It's a pretty cool stage, another one of my favorites. Then again, all the stages in this game are pretty cool. This game does have ice control, or this stage does have a bit of ice controls on this section of the stage, because, you know, from at this, at Marine Ford's Fort in the story, Aokiji, but really Fuzon's ice. And do this. Just, you know, get some some use out of the Sabo assist. Or support, whatever you want to call it. Smash Bros terms, I don't know. Assists. 
like the assist trophies and stuff. There we go. That was pretty. That was fairly easy. Oh, and Kizuru leveled up. Very nice. I'll use one more. I'll put Kizuru in one more fight, and then after that, I'm, I'm going to switch to somebody else. But Marco's still staying in because I need him to get levels. No, Buggy decides to stay in the same place. Damn it. This is the same, basically the same thing as the last fight, but just a different, different type because same character, same setting, but instead of it being a uh, sort of once someone dies, they're out. It's to see who, uh, what person get the most amount of KOs. No! Frick off, Law, you took my KO. Get back down here, Law. Or we can just do this. And why would we skip this, uh, this cutscene? It's so beautiful, after all. Damn it. Yes! Two points. For the win. Oh, damn it, no, 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 no! Break off, break off! Ah! Alright. Oh, no, 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 no. No! Of course, Smoker has to be in the lead again. And I'm probably gonna lose this fight now because of it. I don't remember switching to Kizaru, but okay. Damn it! He, he won. If I would have killed Law, I maybe would have been able to get up there, but no. We gotta do that fight over now. This fight. And Bartolomeo sees another straw hat. Ah! <laughs> 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 
There we go. Hey! Alright, we got a good number of kills. So I think we're pretty good now. We can do this now. And you know what? I will skip the cutscene just this once because I feel like you guys have seen it enough. There we go. There we go. I'm about to die. Somehow I have not yet. Let's actually show off this because I don't think I have yet. Oh wait, never mind. That was the wrong attack. Whoops. And I just act used it again, but I meant for Smoker to still be there. Come on, come on, come on. We got this. And we're at a victory. E even if I didn't kill Smoker there, I still would have been at a guaranteed victory because of the other kills I had gotten. There we go. All right, time to fight. Uh, time to fight the greatest pirate on the Grand Line himself, Buggy the Clown. And after this, I will switch keys to Rod. I meant to do that last fight. Sorry again, my controller has been pretty unresponsive today. Alright, I don't see this fight being much of a challenge, but you know what, you never know. Get 
buggy Yes, have him join. And Buggy is a part of the crew now. And now I'm going to switch gears a little bit. No, I'm not going to be chasing after him. Especially because he's about to get booted off the map. <laughs> this also causes Toshiki to get scared and she sort of retreats too. Now, if I were to claim one of these territories that was right here, I would be then immediately forced to fight Ace and have him join me. However, I want to go after Jinbei and potentially Whitebeard. So I am going to go in this direction right here. Oh, but before I forget, Marco can stay in, but uh, Buggy's, or um, actually I'm going to use Buggy. Kizaru has to go because I already got him to level 3 and everything. Uh, I will also choose a different support since I did max out Sabo. Uh, okay. Who to go with as a support? Let's go Diamante. As for the other character, as I already said, we'll go Buggy. Support will go Caesar. Since they're both clowns, it, it kind of makes sense. And how about we go Bartolomeo? Then let's do this. I don't know if I'm going to make it all the way to wipe your today, but I would like to get a little bit farther before ending the recording. Either way, even if I don't get to that point, if I have enough time, I will record the next episode immediately after because I'm really into this game. So. <laughs> and yeah, this is sort of just get as many KOs as you can. There we go. And another kill for me. Oh, I'll try buggy out. I've never played his buggy in this game, he's probably decent, but... Buggy usually has a very unique way of playing in one of these games. For example, in the Pirate Warriors games, he l he's a physical vehicle moving around. Which I just find awesome. 
Now let's stun everyone. No. What's Diamante's support? He's probably pretty decent if he's 1.5, but he, he just didn't hit there. He'd be better if he did hit. Bring Karu out. Come down here, you fools. I need to hit you with this. Alright, okay. Yeah, we got a KO's buggy. Now I'm sort of just gonna play wait. And I won. And hey, Buggy's almost at level two. Yes, we're down to five. I guess six if you count Buggy, but now he's with us. But we're left with five teams, I should say, even if only one team has more than one person. Yamate seems ready. Battle, get ready. Fight. And now we have a very right? Very battle. Belly battle. Damn it. There we go. Just throw her into the ocean, because why not? And now to summon and kid. Oh wow, that is one big, one big hit. Haven't used this yet. Although it didn't hit, so it didn't really do anything. And we won. And now Buggy's probably gonna get to level two. Yep. And both of the supports are almost at level two as well. Oh, hey, this. Nice.
no one's moving, which is good, because we want to be able to get some of these characters. And we're in the Fishman territory, as we see here, about to cross paths. And we're... I shouldn't say about to, but we're decently close to crossing paths with Jinbei. I think once I unlock the shop, then I'll end the episode, because I don't want this one to be too long. Yeah, so now we are in the Sabade Archipelago. Have we played on the stage before? I don't think we have. But I could be completely wrong. Why does Sanji- uh, Sanji, he always sounds like he's saying, Ichigo! This isn't Bleach, man. I mean, I know Marco, who you're fighting, is played by the same person who plays Ichigo in terms of Japanese voices. Still, but still, it ain't Bleach, man. And I can't think of another Ichigo. As sad as that seems. And there's always a bunch of moving platforms, so you can never be sure if you're gonna fall off the edge or not. And now Robin's out. So now it's just between me and, and Sanji. That was a stupid move on me. Zoro and Sanji actually kind of seem like they're going to be hard to take down. I don't- and I really don't know why. No, he has not fallen off the edge yet. Although that time he actually did. Yes! We won. With only nine seconds on the clock left. Alright. So we're gonna do one more fight and then end this video. Got some bubbles. Marco's still not at level five though. Or, you know what? Actually, I'll save unlocking the shop for the next episode. I'll do everything. I'm just gonna end this here because I feel like we've done enough in this video. So, uh, let me back out of here. Oh, whoops. Thank you everyone for watching the end of the episode. Uh, if you enjoyed, please make sure to like and subscribe. We'll continue Marine Ford on the next one. Have a great rest of your day. And I'll back you back out!